Alright, today we're gonna talk about how you can get better gimbal shots. I have some tricks and tips for you to get super cinematic movement with your gimbal. But you have to go out and practice this stuff. So first off, thanks to all of you guys who've joined since my last video. Um, this is the Weebill S which I revealed in the last video. You can go back and see that if you haven't seen it. I also have a cool hidden trick that I found in the app that makes the uh, app control the gimbal and we're gonna take a look at that later in the video. But first let's take a look at some of the movements that you can do with your gimbal to get pretty cool shots. Here we go. All the shots in this sequence was shot in 60 frames per second using the Weeble S. So let's take a look at how I got the shot and what you can do to get shots like this yourself. First off, we're gonna take a look at the low shot where you can track something low to the ground. It could be a bike, feet, whatever it is, but this makes the ground move super fast and everything just whooshes by down under the gimbal which creates a super cool shot. Then we have the jib shot where you kind of low, you start low and you just raise the gimbal up until you get to chest height to kind of get that jib shot movement as you move the gimbal up. It's a pretty cool shot and it's not that hard to pull off when you have a gimbal. Then we have the follow shot, which is pretty easy. All you gotta do, take the camera, point it straight at the talent, walk in a straight line, shoulder height, and you got this cool follow shot of your subject. So that is pretty easy. Then there's the tracking shot from the side. This can be a bit tricky to do, uh, but the best way to do it is to put your gimbal in lock mode, turn it to the side so it's facing the, the talent, Using a monitor on the gimbal is very key to getting a great shot on this one because then you can just look straight on the monitor and walk in a straight line. Point the camera to the side, lock mode, walk forward so don't have to walk sidewards with the gimbal but that will give you a lot of unwanted movement in your gimbal. Then there is the parallax shot which I really like where you have your subject like this say in the middle of the shot and you just move around the gimbal makes the world around it turn opposite the way you are walking. As you can see here in this shot we have Oliver standing by this tree and you can see the background is just turning around him and he is just standing there looking very cool. Right. So one really important thing you have to practice when using a gimbal is the walk. You have to walk with your knees bent from heel to toe getting that smooth movement so you don't get that up and down movement that you don't want in your footage. As you practice you will get really good at it. The best gimbal operators that I see out there is people that are used to using a glide cam or steady cam because they have practiced this walk to get a steady nice shot with their glide cam. So go out practice that and you will master this technique very fast. So another cool little secret, uh, it's a great tip that I use often is the Segway Mini Pro. This is the coolest trick to get smooth cinematic shot with a level horizon because on the Segway you can stabilize your up and down movement 100% and only focus on getting that good shot. Another thing you also have to do when using gimbal shots is that if you have IBIS or in body stabilization, turn that off because that could give you a 
really weird wobbling effect on your gimbal especially when you use wide lenses so turn that off then you will get the best results with your gimbal shots so the next thing is foreground which is pretty cool because that can create some nice depth in your image uh, by using a tree or a fence it could also be another peep on another person that you're moving your gimbal uh, close to that will create a dimension in your image that is pretty cool so the last thing here is frame rates what should you choose 24 60 or 120 to get that more cinematic look with the slow-mo go to 60 or 120 so you can slow your footage down but if you know you're not going to use slow-mo shoot in 24 frames per second so the last thing is that you can control the gimbal with the app let me show you first thing we have to do is sync up this one with the app so we'll go into the scion connect I'm gonna connect it right here let me see into now so now i've paired the gimbal with the app thing where you can control the app you will press on the three dots on your right side and then press sync motion then it will take you to this page and then there's a little slider on the left down on and down in the left corner you press that and that my friend will make your gimbal move when you're moving your iPhone it will take a little bit of practice to make this work but it's a pretty cool thing yeah it doesn't say that it can do it so that's why I found it by accident. That's it guys. If you have any other questions about the Weeble S, any other gimbal questions, or if you want to see more gimbal footage, uh, tutorials, stuff like that, please tell me in the comments below and I will make videos like that. Go out and make some cool shots with your gimbal, practice the walk, all that stuff. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.